Okay, what are you saying people and welcome back to another weekly forex analysis. Now on the screen are the 10 pairs I'll be analyzing today. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video if you're feeling generous. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my Telegram channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description because I'll be posting a lot of different trade setups throughout the week and you don't be missing out on that, so make sure you go check that out. And also follow me on my Instagram page, I'll leave the handle there. So you post a lot of different trading setups, different tips, tricks, just general advice to help you become a better Forex trader. So make sure you go check all of that out, links will be in the description. But like I said, we've got another weekly analysis, so let me stop talking and let's get into the video. First up, we've got Euro USD. Okay, so for Euro USD this week, we had to push the upside. As you can see here, we had to close above this area of um, resistance here. We had so many wicks here, which I was talking about last week during my previous week analysis. I was saying if we were to get close above here, we'll probably see another push to the upside here. And as you can see, we had to close there on Wednesday above the area. And from there, we just saw price kind of take off the next day to the upside. So for Euro USD, we are still looking bullish here, expecting to see some retrace into the market. Uh, again, big push the upside, previous daily resistance now turned daily support. So potentially going to see a, uh, a move into this area here and potentially see price continue to the upside for uh, UUSD on the daily chart. I was talking about this area in the market here, previous daily resistance, if I connect these wicks up here, as you can see, we wicked into that area, got rejected that bearish candle, and of course we wicked into there and that actually gave that move to the downside there. So a really nice area of daily resistance all along here around 1.2. I was saying potentially last week you could get a move into this area. You see we did fail to do that, we got pushed to the upside. So could potentially see price maybe break through this area of daily support into this area of daily support and then see price continue to the upside um, for that continuation because you can see recently if I connect the lows to the highs up here, you can see we had a uh, just over 600 pip moves to the upside. So you do expect to see some deeper pullbacks come to the market for EURUSD to retrace those 600 pips and potentially around 1.2 could be a nice area that could happen. Um, I'm not expecting that to happen next week um, to say, but that could be coming um, over the course of the next few weeks to the downside, but uh, more of a short term target for EURUSD, this previous area of daily resistance, now turn daily support, potentially see a pullback into that area and see price continue to the upside. But if you do break through this area, it could potentially be coming to that 1.2 area. So you need to keep an eye out uh, for when price comes to this area to see what type of price section we get. If we start to see some impulsive candles back to the upside, we could be looking for uh, some new higher highs for EURUSD. Next, we're going to take a look at USD JPY. Okay, so next up we have UCJPY on the daily chart. As you can see, this week we had a push to the downside as we were expecting uh, with my weekly analysis last week. I was talking about this trend line here um, in the market. You can see if I connect the highs of the market, again, initial test there, second, third, fourth. I had a push to the downside, very um, impulsive. Price was kind of just moving sideways and we had that, all these wicks to the upside here. So it was showing signs that we're gonna get a push to the downside there. And on Friday, um, last week, we had that bearish engulfing candle engulfing uh, I believe four candles there so again we were looking for that push to the downside for UCJPY and potentially to go and break the lows through here and you can see we actually did take out uh, the lows here if I connect the wick there you can see we did get close um, below those um, wicks there so we created a new low for UCJPY and now we're going to be expecting a push back to the upside for this pair you can see we do have um, previous uh, daily support along here so again going to be expecting at least a move into this area um, into this area and if you break through that area then we're going to be expecting a, a fifth test of this trend line in the market as you can see one two three four looking for that fifth one and potentially see price continue to the upside if you do get a break through that if you don't and we see price starting to reject then probably can be expecting another rollover to the downside and possibly another new low but as you can see in the past for usage apy as we've been moving in this corrective uh, downwards trend you'd be seeing strong push to the downside and then back up again strong push to the downside back up again strong push back up again so now we've had our strong push going to be expecting price to continue back to the upside again and go and test that trend line um, for a fifth test potentially could see price roll over again for ucj why again we're still in a, a bearish trend here maybe go and create another new low potentially and then we see the push back to the upside that is still possible but again we'll be waiting for those confirmations on the lower time frame on the lower time frames like the hourly and the hourly to take those longs but it could be seeing a nice push to the upside for UCJBY at least into this area of daily support and resistance and if you break through that could potentially go and test the trend line for a fifth time and next we've got USD CAD 
Okay, so we used DCAD on the daily chart, not too much happened this week. We did see price sort of roll over to the downside, create new lows, uh, not too impulsively, kind of just correctly moving to the downside. We are expecting to see another push to the upside. You can see we're still looking at this daily area of support, um, which we will be turned resistance down. So potentially looking for uh, a move back into this area for use DCAD. Um, and then potentially see price here roll back over again or if we do break through that again we can go a lot further to the upside uh, we do have a trend line that we could be seeing a test of but if we do see a break of that uh, daily resistance level again we can at the previous highs of price here so again test there second third could be seeing uh, a fourth test of that trend line and potentially even further if you do go and break through that trend line there but if we do break through this resistance expecting a test of the trend line just above it but if we do hold um, that resistance again expecting potentially price to roll over again at least go and test lows or potentially create another low um, on the four hourly chart we did see um, a break of a trend line in the market uh, i believe again if we get the highs there you can see and this year test there second there third there with that long wick and we saw a break there so potentially could be seeing price continue to the upside to go and test that daily area of resistance now four hourly was starting to look bullish as well and you can see we did have um, a nice push to the upside closing at some new highs there um, for used to cad so potentially can be seeing a push to the upside for used to cad maybe see one maybe one more push to the downside there and then we can look to capitalize on the move to the upside to go and test that previous area of daily support now term resistance up next is euro gbp Okay, so for Euro GP on the daily chart, we're expecting to see a move to the downside this week. And as you see, we did get that move to the downside. Um, we're expecting to see a move into this level of uh, previous resistance and support. As you can see, we did get a move into that area, but price just broke straight through it. We went to go and test this area here, which is a really nice key level, actually. As, as you can see, if I drag that across, acting as support along here, acting as resistance, resistance as well, then support along there. So a really nice key level around uh, 0 0.9 thousand, so around there. Uh, we're just holding on to that so potentially could be seeing another push to the upside or maybe price come back into this area and seeing that push continue if we do see price roll over and break through this level i'm probably going to be expecting your gp to continue to the downside to go and test this level here a really nice key level if i zoom out a little bit and drag that across you can see a really nice support area just holding us uh moving sideways uh, essentially for UGP above this level so if you do break through this support here I'm expecting to see uh, from a daily point of view I'll just get a move to the downside to go and test this area here but if we don't and we hold we could potentially be seeing another move back to the highs um, up here potentially create another high um, after that wick um, but if we do hold again expecting UGP to push the upside if we roll over expecting to see a retest of this key level here um, and then potentially um, a push all the way to the lows down there for UGP okay so up next we've got AUD USD okay so for AUD USD this week we're still looking bullish as you can see we did see price break out of this resistance here which I was talking about during my analysis I was saying potentially could be seeing a move into this area of previous resistance now turned uh, daily support so potentially from this area see a move into there and potentially see price continue to the upside but as you can see we didn't really get any pullback price was just moving sideways a little bit on the lower time frames and we saw price just push to the upside uh, close above the area of resistance where there's wicks and we had a push to the upside from there so still looking bullish for AUSD but we've had a really long push to the upside which you do expect to see some retrace of again some to USD if I was moved to the bottom to the top again over 600 pips we've moved to the upside here so you do expect to see some retrace in the market and again we do have a really nice a weekly level of resistance we can potentially see that retrace come to again you can see resistance here gave us this move to the downside will we turn support now so again could be seeing from a weekly point of view a move into there so definitely expect to see some pullbacks uh, next week for EURUSD of course we're still in a bullish trend and as long as price stays above this area here previous, previous resistance for us on the daily uh, chart as long as price stays above there we can easily pull back into this area and continue to the upside as you can see price has been making those higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and that can continue on as long as price wants to continue in that upwards trend so still expecting to see some deeper pullbacks for AUSD but again we could potentially be seeing another push to the upside before that happens before we start to see price starting to coming down um, and test that weekly level that we're looking to go and test now let's take a look at NZD CAD okay so for entity cad on the daily chart this week we saw price break to the upside i was looking at this area last week uh, as price was kind of just moving sideways between this level here and this support so again we had a big push to the downside price moving sideways 
I wasn't too sure which way price will break out to. You can see we did have the resistance there, support there. I said if you break through the support, potentially you can see price come all the way to this level here. As you can see here, previous resistance, resistance again will be turned support. So again, there was a lot of room to move to the downside. But then I did say as well, if you do break through this resistance, we'll probably see a nice push to the upside, back to the highs um, all the way up here, which it looks like we're coming to go and test. So for NZD CAD, we broke to the upside, we are looking bullish. So again, we do have an uptrend here in the market. As you can see, we are trending to the upside and the weekly point of view as well we are trying to the upside making those higher highs and higher lows now so again that could easily continue you can see you broke to the upside it looks like the trend wants to continue so for as cad for next week a potentially spec price maybe keep on uh, moving to the outside a little bit go and really test this previous area of resistance where we had that big impulsive move to the downside from maybe even break above it a little bit and see another swing back to the downside to go and test uh, this key area here again which is where uh, we are moving sideways from so this area now resistance is now turned daily support so spec price to continue further for NZD CAD to go into this area really test it maybe break above it a little bit create a higher high and see another push to the downside to go and test this area resistance now turn daily support next up we've got GBP NZD okay so for GBP NZD on the daily chart we did see a push to the upside this week which we were expecting we were trading down the lows here last week and I was saying we're potentially going to get uh, another move to the upside to go and retest some previous areas of uh, support now time resistance as you can see I was looking at this level here and you see we did get moved to that level and actually broke above it our price is actually trading above that level but we are still uh, failing to break for a really key level of support now time resistance um, for GPNDD if I draw the level in like so you can see a really nice area of resistance now um, formally support here there 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 now term resistance and you see we have that really strong impulsive candle to the downside um, from that same level which we are currently testing so as long as price stays below um, this level for me we're probably going to get another swing to the downside for gpnzd potentially go and test the same area which we wick to maybe even further uh, to the downside if price wants to keep on uh, that downtrend as you can see for gpnzd we are trading in a downtrend here so if you do go to the downside probably expect price probably either go and test the lows or maybe create another lower low. Uh, if you do see price break above this area of resistance here, potentially you can be seeing more of a counter trend move to the upside. Again, if I do connect the highs here, see initial test there, second there. If you do break above this resistance, I do expect the test uh, of this trend line here, then potentially see price roll back over to the downside again, or maybe see price come back and test this level here. Um, on the daily chart there so we do have upside and downside targets for uh, GP NZD but for me as long as we stay below this level I'm probably going to be expecting another swing to the downside for GP NZD potentially go and test the lows again next we're going to move on to CAD JPY okay so for CAD JPY on the daily chart you can see we had a move to the downside this week as expected we are all way at the highs up here as you can see we do have a bit of a range on the daily chart just moving sideways with the support down here we came up to the highs um, up there and actually do expect to see some bearish reaction uh, from these highs here you can see we did have a really impulsive move to the downside from those same area in the market from that same area in the market come to test it again do expect to see another push to the downside potentially all the way to the lows here potentially but we do have some nice levels as you can see here previous support will be acting as support there again and again we do have some levels in there that price could be looking to test as well so we do have some nice downside targets for CAD JPY we do expect that bearishness to continue and you can even see why as well on the weekly chart I was talking about this trend line here in the market connecting the previous highs um, of prices so again connecting all these wicks here you can see initial test there second third we had our fourth test expecting to see a bearish week there and you can see potentially could be seeing price continue a lot further from a weekly point of view back into this area of support so again for CAD JPY do expect that downtrend start to continue now possibly could see a pull back into this area potentially and again that could be opening up for some nice uh, short entries to look to trade this to the downside up next is GBP USD okay so for GPUSD on the daily chart we saw a push to the upside this week I was expecting to see a test of the trend line here on the daily chart as you can see in this year test there second third fourth I was expecting to see a fifth we almost tested it uh, the week before but you can see we kind of didn't really test it there missed it by a few pips pulled to the upside we had a gap to the upside price held that level um, this level here was a really key level in the market here 133 1.33 uh, again acting as resistance all here support all there we gapped above it held and then we saw price um, give us quite an impulsive push uh, to the upside for GP USD. so again for this one we are still looking bullish here potentially you could see some retrace uh, for this market into this area here 
um, again acting on resistance here so potentially you see price um, pull it pull back for GPUSD into this area and then see price continue to the upside because from the higher time frames like the weekly and the monthly we are starting to look bullish on them again you can see from the monthly time frame here we had uh, this key level in the market which I was expecting to see um, broken on the monthly time frame as you can see we kind of tested it uh, a few months ago now had that bearish candle doji and then we had that morning star so uh, again we were looking bullish coming into that resistance and i do expect to see price um, break through that resistance since we were holding at this support there so i was expecting to see um, holding at this support here so i was expecting to see price eventually hold at that support and give us a push to the upside uh, from a monthly point of view it looks like it could be happening this month potentially uh, so again, even from a weekly starting to look bullish there, closing at some new highs there. Again, we are st still due some retrace uh, for GPUSD, some deeper retrace. So potentially could see uh, price maybe come back into this level here, key level of support and resistance. So again, resistance there, support as well. So potentially could see price maybe come all the way back to this area here. But I still think there's room to the upside for GPUSD um, in the next coming weeks and next months, uh, next coming months as well. So the GPUSD is expecting to see some retrace in the market some pullbacks could be looking to take advantage of but ultimately expecting gpusd to continue to the upside and last we've got gbp cad okay so for gbp cad on the daily chart you can see we did have a push to the upside this week we were expecting that push uh, to the upside i was talking about this level here uh really key level in the market of support it was holding expect to see a push to the upside into this level which i was talking about last week you, see, you can see we did have that push to the upside but actually price broke past it it remained that bullishness and uh continue to make some higher highs but an impulse move into this level and an impulse move back out again it looks like we are coming to test this trend line here in the market so again if i connect all the highs so again this should test there second third fourth could be seeing a fifth test of this trend line and price rolling back over again and see another move um, back into the support because the GBCAD was essentially quite uh, just moving sideways here uh, ranging from resistance to support so potentially could be seeing price holding at this at this uh, trend line again seeing price roll back over go and test this support here potentially either seeing a breakout of the support or the breakout of the of the trend line and seeing a longer swing to the upside um, but for now again we're coming back to these highs here it looks like we are losing some momentum probably see that in the Friday chart again we're losing some momentum there to the upside so naturally do expect price to roll back over again and see another swing to the downside uh, to this support level here but if we do see an impulsive break of this trend line we could potentially be coming up to go and test the highs um, all the way up here and seeing a longer break to the upside but we'll get to that uh, when we do see a break but for now we're going to be expecting prices maybe carry a little bit to the upside and then fall back to the downside and go test the support that we have down here okay so that's the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it and found it useful if you agree with my analysis or disagree or just have any questions just make sure you leave a comment and i'll get back to you but like i said it's the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it and until the next one i'll see you later